The Difference Between Fake and Real Ugly Brother Pants. Also a review on the new motor pools from Montclair Riding Company. What you see here are two cargo pants, one real and one fake. The left is my weathered and rogue to death authentic pants, and the right is Fugazi. Regular motor pools don't fit like mine, but this is a one time special, aka cheap detergent my wife bought a while ago, but it gives it a distinct and full character look, and I love it. First off the bat, there's an issue already, and you may or may not catch it. But there is also a loose thread down at the bottom that will get loose over time. And these tags seem to be high-end reproduction labels, but that's probably the best work that they did with these pants. Congrats, guys. Silk screen is an added touch, but don't let those fancy labels fool you. Now look here. I'll let you find the big clue. Our first hardware shot and the button looks okay. Not sharp in the letters, but cheap stamping. Moving down the leg, you can see here, single stitching versus double. Reinforcements are done for a reason, in this case it's longevity and quality. That's the name of the game. Plus these pants feel light. Something wrong with them. Now we head into the pants and open the first button. This is a special cover that ensures that the pants stay closed and prevent the zipper from marring the tank. Now we get into the guts of the pants and we reach the label. Although both pants have the same satin finish on the labels, it causes it to fade, right? So new pants have a traditional polyurethane tag with heavy print to prevent fading. The elastic they used is cheap and will lose its property to expand. And look at those loose threads everywhere. They copied the same pocket for their unrated armor. Now also must be said that the new pants use heavier thread on the knee area, which you do use a lot of. Try opening your Levi's pants, Gap pants, Old Navy pants, you won't see anything like this. There are loose threads everywhere. It does not match what we were about to show you in the end. Now here's an area that needs a lot of attention and this is where all the blowouts happen. Right in your bottom area. Shoddy stitching make this a serious question in my books. Now here's more evidence of shame. Too many holes in one area make the fabric weak, thus more prone to blowouts. Look at that. I can keep talking about it, but there's just loose threads everywhere. Now these are the hip and knee protectors that Ugly Brother supplies. Now these are CE rated armor. CE stands for Certified European and this involves their motorcycle safety standards which the US unofficially adopted. Now here's an example of a fly-by-night company on eBay. Ugly Brothers does not ship from China, nor are they made there. Our shipping is what you expect being in the US and Montclair Riding Company ships from New Jersey. So you get your stuff in less than 7 days, not 30 or so out. Now if you guys want to stick around, I'm going to talk about the updated motor pool pants. These happen to be in black and with such a deep contrast in color, these are dyed and can bleed just like any other denim pants that you buy, so be careful about that. They come with standard tags. You get a nice YKK authenticity tag and extra buttons is an added plus. If I can open this with one hand, then you know it's got to be easy. Here's a tag that I was talking about earlier. 
I believe these will last longer than the previous generation. If you look here, clean, no loose threads, high quality. We're doing a comparison from old to new. Subtle changes, but clearly the update has some pretty good tweaks. I actually prefer the button as uh, it was pretty easy to open and close versus the actual button. You see me have a hard time with one hand, but I'm pretty sure off camera it would be a lot easier. Minor tag revision, and it faces in a better direction. I like the added touch. Now if you look close, the black pair has double stitching down at the cuff. The hem was clear on the original, but it doesn't hurt for extra redundancy. The hip armor is side specific, so look for the tiny letters on the bottom right. This one shows R for right, and when you look over here, it'll be an L for left. Now I'm just showing you that this is the front of the pants from the buttons that you see here. And the pocket would be on your left side if you were wearing it. The indentation goes on your hip, otherwise the bump would be inside and you will probably have a hard time closing your pants or it might just be uncomfortable. Knee armor is not side specific but molded to be bent around the knee, especially when you're on your pegs. It actually moves with you. Now I'm going to wrap this up, but thanks for taking the time to watch our videos. We don't have a large backing or budget, so we try our best to give you the information you need in the best way possible. Thanks again.